All right, hey everyone, it's June 3rd, it's Leanne, it's in the afternoon, and I'm in this beautiful protected forest area, no hunting campfires, uh, no fishing, uh, all the usual stuff. Uh, and this park has the same river running through it where I found the teddy bear last spring and where there's like those 15 structures all in that one area. And it's north of here about maybe 30 miles. So same river, just farther south. Now I came through here yesterday and I found this new creation. Now this wasn't here a year ago. What was here a year ago were these branches piled up along this massive old tree. And I came back yesterday and I was like, whoa, check this out. This is amazing. And so I've come back today with better lighting to show you what's going on here. So a couple things, first of all, the, the main support of this like shade structure is, I mean, I don't know what you'd call it even. There's a large branch that's been brought in, which is actually a Y branch. And it's come through to this end right here. Okay, right here. There are two upright branches that have been stood up. They're both Ys. This one right here is a beautiful Y. This one right here is like a right angle Y, okay? And it's they've been fastened on either side by this plastic twine. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there saying, there's no way Sasquatch <laughs> tie with rope or twine. To me, it, I've seen this so many times. For me, it, it's a no-brainer in that if they have the the, the, the mental capabilities, the planning, the collecting, the, the, the dreaming, designing. They, they can build these structures, they can figure out how to tie knots. That's, that to me is just goes without saying. But I know that we all have our different opinions. But anyway, for me this is not surprising. Now what we've got here is one branch that's been placed across here acting as a bit of a support for a couple, not many. Yeah, that's all. Oops, and then this random number comes through, comes up, up, up. It's just, you know, with a nice Y at the end. It's just a really interesting piece of wood. Uh, and it's just standing on that a little bit. Uh, this side is tied together with this branch that's been brought in. And what's neat about this is that, see this right angle Y, is sitting in this live tree right here just in the crux of that branch but that bigger branch of what it belongs to has also been snapped so it's been snapped brought down that's been placed in it and then there's all this crisscrossing going on all right it's just it's phenomenal and it's strong like it's sturdy now as i look around here uh, first of all you may hear some voices in the background this is a big protected forest park and there is a child's, a children's play area, maybe 400, 500 meters from here, but it's down the hill in the valley, so you might be hearing some, some voices there. Check out this random number. Um, you know, one of those tassels. I'll, again, tie it on. So the roof here is, is a collection of broken, fresh green branches, and it's, they're just crisscrossed. There's also some bark, some hunks of bark, that have been placed in there. Look at that nice root ball right there of that branch going across here. So, and this has been brought in recently. Just a little bit of moisture in those leaves. And look at this. I didn't see this yesterday. Look at this. Look at this branch right here. Right here. And it's just barely hanging on right there. Look. Right there. I don't know if that was here yesterday. And there's also some other collected pieces of wood here. So I made this point yesterday. I'm sorry this is taking so long. If you come into the woods to make a structure, take all the time to collect, design, dream, find the right location, it, this isn't what you'd make. This is not what you would build. You'd build something different, I suspect. Which is why I love this so much. <laughs> it doesn't seem to make much sense to us. But to the creators, it does. 
Now I'd also like to stress behind me there are two, three structures. I'm going to take you to a big one right over here. And there's several beyond here. And a common feature of, of a few of the structures that I found is that they love to build roofs, like flat roofs. And um, I, I think it, it might be a, a style of, of the creators, of the builders. They just, they love it. It's just what they do. So I'm going to show you another structure over here and this is just going to blow your mind. It certainly blew my mind when I found it last year, but then when it came yesterday, it blew it even more. So I found this last fall and this is built as a massive Y in itself. There's a fallen tree behind it and there's two big um, branches that come up from the Y that naturally lean up which are acting as the main supports. Now already I can see that there's some subtle changes here from yesterday afternoon. So I'm just gonna walk around it first, okay? This may be one of the biggest structures I've ever found. And I'll show you what it looked like when I found it last fall, that's for sure. This has been brought in. This rock wasn't there since last fall, of course. That big, you know, look how long those are. Those weren't here. None of these sides were here. Only the roof had been built. And there's so much going on here, I don't even know where to begin. Like, I don't. Just allow your eyes to, to look at it. Like these two cool ones at the very front. This pretty one right here. There's a root up there, part of a root ball. The weight, the sheer weight alone, that's a cool piece of wood in here is staggering. There's another root. That's something else I'm noticing in the structures around here. There's a lot of roots that have been, you know, are incorporated in, in their structures. It's just mind-boggling. So you can see the the main arm. So this fallen tree is a Y, massive Y. And there's one side, and the other side does pretty much the same thing. Now, talking about roofs, take a look at this beauty. Like it just doesn't quit. It's phenomenal. And this roof has been built upon since I found it last November as well. And I can show you in some comparison photos. That's a pretty piece. All right. And it has all the classic elements. It's interesting, a hat. A root. That's why. Just look. Look at that. The amount of wood is staggering. Nice collected you know, piece of random wood there. They'll use whatever they can get their hands on. I'm convinced of that. So here's the other side. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at the. There's some cross beams up here. There's a nice root on the ground there. So, changes from yesterday. There are two. One that's been flipped over, that could happen by humans. But see this piece of garbage, I haven't touched this. This, yesterday, oh look, there's some scrapes. This piece of garbage was actually on the ground right around here and I made a video and I picked it up and I, was, I, I read it. So not only has it been moved, a stick has been put over top of it. Um, what else is new? This piece of paper right there was there. Now it may have blown away. I don't think that piece of paper was there. I think this may be actually be more put uh, closer together. I'll have to do some comparison. Since I was here less than 24 hours ago and these two pieces of plastic weren't there. Again, could have been kids. I'm not saying it, it, it's not. But here's your classic fake fire pit. It's never been used. 
I don't know if that was here yesterday. But take a look in here. Now look at the weight of this wood, which can be done because see here's the two branches coming up from that fallen tree. It's the perfect support to create a structure. It's perfect. There's wise everywhere. Freshly snapped wood, wise, root, root, it just goes on and on. And I like this, looks like the top part of a barbecue grill, you know, just to make it look like someone's cooking in here. It's pretty funny. This is cool, this Y really stands out because the bark appears to be freshly, you know, coming off as if it's in process right now. You know, they're working on that. Maybe they eat it. Who knows? Now, I mean, people would probably say, well, how do you know this is Sasquatch? And you can have this argument and conversation about anything that we're putting out there. I get it. I get it. But I can tell you that I have found one, two, three, four, five, six other structures in this area, in this location. And I'm sure there are more I haven't come across. I've barely explored the whole park and when you put all these signs together then you combine the fact that it's along the same river that I have explored so much of over the past couple of years I've been finding dozens of structures I'm convinced that they use these rivers as as roots there is no way a human came and did this people just don't do this they don't take the time to read a book hardly anymore much less put this amount magnitude of effort into collecting this wood and creating this 